once you have WordPress, you are going to want to know how to configure everything in WordPress. So we have this wonderful video for you on how to configure WordPress. All right, now in this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a couple of ways that you can make WordPress a little bit more user-friendly and then also make it a little bit more search engine friendly as well. Now over here on the left side, I want you to, if you aren't here yet, just click on dashboard, make sure you're on dashboard. And over here on the left hand side, go all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna see uh, a link named settings. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click on the settings, okay? And then the first settings that we're gonna come to are gonna be the general settings. And what I'd like you to do is just make sure when we installed WordPress, we did this, but let's just make sure again that our site title is very clear and concise about what this website is about. Also make sure that you have your keywords, which should go along with what the site is about as well. So you can see my website is on a WordPress demo site. So I've named it my WordPress demo site. And then my tagline is demo website for WordPress. Pretty simple. Below that, you're going to see the URL as well as the site address. Here you can change if you'd like the site address to be different than the actual address that is right here. Like if you did want to put it in a different folder, you would have earlier had this in a different folder. So instead of just being... Um, the straight domain name like it is on mine. Yours might be, you know, blog over here or something like that. But for now, we're just going to leave these how they are. Make sure that your email address is correct. Um, we're going to want to, you can change around the date format. Like you can see, there's a couple different date formats that you can use and a couple different time formats that you can use. So you're going to just want to, if there's anything in here that you do want different, if your email address is different, make sure that you go ahead and click on Save Changes. And I'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, and you'll see up top, it's going to tell you that the settings have been saved. Now, the next one that we can click on is we can click on the writing. There really isn't too much to do here. Um, most of the time, I will leave this exactly how it is on the writing. And then the reading, for now we're going to leave this the same, but this does give you the opportunity once we create a page or two, what we can do is change it so that our front page either displays your latest posts or if you do create a specific page for your front page, we could go ahead and select it here. We could just go ahead and select it and then tell, like I'll click on instead of our home page being our latest post, we'll say it's a sample page, okay, um, it'll ask you here how many posts we want to show at most, syndication feeds, different choices for when it does show an article, if it's going to just show a summary or the full text. For now, I'm going to just click on Save Changes. And if we go to our website now, if we go to our our website, you can see that it's changed from having the, the posts that were there before. Now you'll see that we have the sample page in here, okay, as opposed to just the post. Now, if you, I go back and I go have it show the latest post, just so you can see the difference, when I refresh my home page, you're going to see that instead of showing that first page, it's now showing a collection of posts. And because I only have one post, this sample post. It's only showing that one. But if you had a bunch of different posts on here, it would be showing all those different posts on here. Okay. Now, the next setting that and this is kind of important, especially if you want to cut down on spam. And it's something that I do. And it's something that I recommend you do too. Okay. You don't have to, but it is something that I recommend. You see right here under the default article settings, you see this little box, it comes checked, and it allows people to post comments on new articles. And truthfully, I don't like people to post on my WordPress blogs. It, it generally gets filled up with spam. It's generally just other people looking to spam my site 
generally not really looking to add any value or content to my site. Like I said, they're primarily just spamming my site with either a link to their website or maybe an affiliate offer. So on all of my blogs, I generally uncheck that. And on a post-by-post -post basis, when we go on and create some posts later on, you'll be able to see that you can change that as well from inside each post. So even though your main site settings will say, don't allow people to post, if you go ahead and create a new post, and you do want people to be able to post comments on that, you'll have the opportunity later on to do that. So all this other stuff, uh, I generally will uncheck these. Okay, I generally will uncheck those. And I also will leave the rest of these pretty much, pretty much as is. Down here you have the avatar if you want people to see the avatar. Um, most people, if they have their own website, will have some sort of avatar, meaning, you know, a picture of themselves. And you can choose to show avatars or not show avatars. I usually leave that just blank. Um, we go ahead and set our maximum rating. If you're going to be doing a site that is suitable for all our audiences, just go ahead and leave that G clicked, meaning G that it's good for all audiences. And then down here, with users without a custom avatar, you can decide what they're going to go ahead and show. Like I said, we're really not going to be allowing people to comment anyway, so this doesn't matter too much. But just go ahead and click on Save Changes. Okay. Now, media right here. This is going to basically be telling you when you do post pictures or thumbnails, it's going to set, because it does automatically set thumbnails, you can choose what size that you want them to be. Um, you can choose the sizes for images when you post onto your pages, how big you want the max to be, how big you want a large size to be, how big you want medium size to be. So you can go ahead and change these around how you want. Um, and what you want to do, just go ahead and click on Save Changes. Now, the one that's most important, okay, is this right here under Permalinks. And this is very important because the base structure of WordPress, okay, you can see when I click on my, my post, okay, it's going to have my domain name followed by a slash, then a question mark, then a P equals 1, meaning P equals post 1. Okay, and that's the permalink structure. And it's just, it's not good for SEO. It's also not good for navigation because people really don't know what they are. So what I like to do and what you should do is instead of leaving that on default, go ahead and write down here, you see where it says post name. Okay, what that's good, if you select that, what that is going to do is when you go ahead and create new posts and new pages, it's going to use the title of those posts and pages as the actual page name. So I'll go ahead and save this and I'll, and I'll give you a quick example. Okay. If we go over and we create a new post, okay, we'll just go ahead, click on post, add new, and we're going to call this new post. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and publish this. Now, when we go back over to our WordPress site, okay, you can see a couple of things have changed. Because I have changed my permalink settings to this post name, okay, what's happened is, first off, this first sample post is no longer P equals 1. It's called Hello World, and it's grabbing that right from the title of the page. And you can see... We'll go back to the home page here. And you can see with our new post that I just created, if I click on new post, you'll see that it says new dash post. And that really is good for search engine optimization because search engines, they do look at the content of a page to help, you know, determine what the page is about. So if you can leave that or rather check that over to post name, you're just going to have a much better structure on your site. It's going to be clearer, easier to navigate, and all around it's going to do better in the search engine. 
So make sure you go ahead, click on post name, save those changes. And those are pretty much it as far as the basic configuration settings on your WordPress site. So I will see you in the next video.